Story is like super powerful to your brain, just basically because we've been learning through story for 100,000 years and we've only been reading for about 5,000 years. So I think that's especially relevant to um, Indigenous people of Australia because of the being ripped off their land and the stolen generation and being moved around. To have mental well-being, you don't need to have a happy story, which is good because that's not a happy story. What the literature talks about is a coherent life story. So I'm thinking about grandparents here, that what do they tell their grandchildren? They wanted to pass on their culture, and their culture has been shifted from institution to institution to institution. So the first thing I'd recommend is put that into a coherent life story. Start at the start, say what happened, run it through. The number one factor in mental well-being is a coherent life story. Not a happy life story, but a life story that makes sense. I was born into this rich culture, I was um, abducted or stolen, I was put into an institution that was, you know, I had this horrible time, I got to another institution, um, I got back and found my family if that was the case, and now I'm doing this. It doesn't have to be a happy story, it just has to be coherent. Um, and then talk to that story to your grandchildren. And then even more importantly, um, any myths that you've got, you know, share those myths. Any traditional songs that you've got, any stories you've got about anything you remember from your grandparents, so that children have that connection to multiple generations back, even if it's only a tiny little bit. I think pass on what you do have, and it's your presence and the fact that you are an Aboriginal person regardless of what happened to you, and your presence in the child's life will strengthen their sense of identity.